Washington 37, Oregon 34. That's right. We're going to start off with Pac-12 talk. And let's pull up the stats. Let's look at what we got going on here. Washington, 55 plays run. Oregon, 78. That's right. That's right. Uh, the kicker, Peyton Henry, hit that game-winning field goal with 51 seconds left. He is the same kicker that in 2018 missed the overtime kick in, in 2018 to lose to Oregon 30-27. to So he has been waiting to get back to this spot. He's been there for... I mean, since 2018, this has been a very long time. So, cheers to him for getting that done. Uh, Penix, uh, the game, not the game winning, but the game tying touchdown, 62 yards with 307 left. At that throw, after throwing the goal line interception earlier in the fourth quarter, uh, and that drive by Oregon was just, uh, the, the drive from Oregon was awesome, right? Like, they, they were fantastic. On that drive, I mean, it was like what nineteen plays, and then they had to settle for a field goal. It was, I mean, what are we doing? Like they they showed, hey, we can be explosive, but hey, we can also like kill it, kill the game with a drive like this. But the only way that you kill the game is if you actually get into the end zone, and they beat themselves with penalties, etc. Let's look at uh, yards per play. Let's look at total yards, etc. We we know that neither of these defenses is great, right? Uh, both teams had a turnover. Uh, you look at the total yards, 592 for Oregon to 522 for Washington. Uh, Oregon had nine more first downs, 32 to 23. Uh, Washington, 9.491 yards per play. Oregon, 7.59. Uh, that's a huge, huge discrepancy there. Uh, yards per rushing attempt, Oregon by a full yard. Yards per pass, Washington by nearly two yards, 11.7 yards per pass for Washington. I mean, just awesome. Uh, Michael Penix had an absolutely fantastic day. Uh, PPA per play was really close. Oregon had the upper hand there. Success rate, uh, pretty close. Oregon had the upper hand. Both were over 50%. So that's a pretty good day. Standard down success? Uh, yeah, Oregon stayed ahead of the change. Big time. 65% there. But when it came to passing downs, when you got behind the sticks a little bit, Washington 69% there. Let's go on and pull up uh, the you know, stat broadcast. Let's look at what we got. Bo Nix, 19 out of 27, 280 yards, two touchdowns. Oregon ran the ball 51 times for 312 yards. That's 6.1 per clip. I mean, it they they were able to handle it on the ground. They didn't have to have Bo Nix. Uh, the turning point in this game really might have been when Bo Nix went out injured and they had to run Ty Thompson. Uh, they went forward on fourth down, thought they'd be able to run and get it. But, man, when you've got Ty Thompson in there and he hasn't done anything, you know that the coaching staff is not just going to let him wing it. So the Washington defense was able to load up the box. And in doing that, they were able to get the stop. But it wasn't necessarily that. It, the, this is the issue with going forward on fourth down and whatnot is you never know what's going to happen. That kid went and tried to plant, and his foot slipped out from under him. So there was a Washington defender right there, but he was going to fall down in the backfield anyway. So you don't get the fourth down. Uh, Washington doesn't have to go far to get that game winning kick. It's it was it was weird. It was weird to see Oregon because they had been so dominant, and Washington had certainly been beatable, right? That defense is just not great. But I got to tell you, cheers to Kalen DeBoer. Uh, that guy wins everywhere he goes. It was it was awesome to see this. Uh, just a, a really, really strong effort. Michael Penix, by the way, 26 out of 35, 408 yards, two touchdowns. He did have the one interception down there at the goal line. Uh, McMillan, eight receptions, 122 yards. Uh, you had uh, Romo Dunes, uh, six receptions, 56 yards. I mean, this this bunch was awesome. This, this, was, this was such a fun game, and it's such a good rivalry in the Pac-12. This is the kind of game that you need uh, going forward in the Pac-12, and it was nice to see it you know, actually live up to the hype a little bit. So this this was a lot of fun. You see the win probability there. Uh, both of these teams, green is good, purple is bad. You can see it on the screen there. EPA per play, both of them really good. Success rate, both really good. Yards per play, both really good. Da, 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 da. Um, Washington, not a, not a great explosive play rate, but it didn't necessarily matter. They were able to move the ball on this Oregon defense. Uh, neither team could stuff the run, <laughs> and neither team created a lot of havoc. Uh, so that is the way that it goes. But you look at the expected points, et cetera, uh, Oregon, I mean, just their EPA total was like 23.31. Washington's ended up 22.94. Uh, 
They're just fun. Just fun. So, great job by both of these teams for putting on an incredibly entertaining ball game. I was, I, I loved it. I loved everything about this. So, cheers to Washington for getting that win and for mucking up the, the Pac-12 race a little bit because uh, we're going to have to come down to the last couple of weeks. We're going to have to get it figured out. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.